What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Stonewall Penitentiary. So, last episode, uh, I was naked in prison. It's not good. I have, uh, my thoughts on symbols. So, have I not done this? Next page, a young woman called out to me. She said, you're hot. And she said, you want to... Wait, what? Okay, no. I had Devil's Journal. Well, yeah. I'm still here. The precious city's forgotten all about their favorite fire chief. I'm Daniel Price. Dang it. I won't be forgotten. Warden, I don't give a... Uh, Duval is still trying to coerce a confession out of me. Drugging, raping, and murdering those you know, seven girls. The thing is, I didn't do it, and I don't know what sick me did. Of course, all prisoners say that, so there's not a chance in hell of him believing me, regardless of who I am. If he did, I wouldn't be stuck here. No, man, no one can imagine what it's like to have to walk in your home and say goodbye to your wife and son. I think about it all the time. The embarrassment, the confusion, the remorse, and the look they gave me. They thought I did it. I don't blame them, given the evidence. How the police got so much against me, I'll never know. You, Dad. And you wonder why I changed my name. My father is insane. I mean, insane. He also happens to be the warden here. Not that it saved me from incarceration. Then again, with how he treated me growing up, what did I expect? I was taking, talking with the other prisoners, though, and I heard some crazy stuff, things that happened to people here. They told me I'd see it soon enough. It usually starts after being here two months. Well, frig that. I'm getting out of here. I've been watching over the past weeks, and I think I know the guards' routines. As a firefighter, I'm trained to know how to bypass obstacles when getting from point A to point B. So all I have to do here is view the guards as fire, avoid them, and find an alternate route. I'm escaping this place, and no one is going to stop me. Frank Stonewall Penitentiary. Kathy, I'll be home before you know it. We'll run to Mexico and start a new life we always dreamed of. Well, you screwed yourself there, dude. You don't tell them where they're going. Damn, nah, man. What the hell is wrong with that guy? All right, we got uh, two odd symbols, uh, eight and a diamond. Sweet. Okay. You are William Thane, a struggling, a man struggling with alcoholism, depression. Following you is Jesse Bartlett, a quiet, guarded teenage girl. Oh, damn. I feel so dirty from the last episode. Uh, okay, so we got to go to the cafeteria. No, not there. Yeah. To the cafeteria. What's up, girl? Jesse and I stepped inside the cafeteria. You sure did. And found ourselves standing before four men. Hey, how you doing? Ah, and the last guests in our little melodrama finally arrived. How you doing, buddy? Please step forward. We walked to the center of the room, and the others turned to face us. Looks like I'm the only woman. Figures. Ah. Were you all locked in cells too? Yes. By the way, she's 18. All got notes <laughs> telling us to meet here. Oh, uh, you're one of the shy ones. We wanted to wake you, but you were both out cold. Ah. Oh. We knew each of you had to be awake to get the other out by swapping keys. Buff man. So we figured it'd be best to wait for you here. Is that his name? My or? name is Grayson Wilford. Ah, okay. So this is Gerard Auberon. Okay, Gerard. Sonny Payton and... Sonny. Louis? Louis Algar? Movie star? Don't tell me you haven't heard of me. Uh, no. Sorry. I'm afraid not. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, apparently good movies. I'm William Fane. But you can all call me Will. Jesse Bartlett, nice to meet you all. Mm hmm. Wonderful. Mm, not oh, really. Yeah, we're all acquainted. Does anyone have the slightest idea how we're going to get out of this place? 
Well, I suppose we should start by stabbing everyone and you see who Oh. Good evening, everyone. I'm so glad you're here. Good evening, everyone. I'm so glad you could all make it. By now you're probably all wondering why you're here. This is the 1700s. Because the six of you share a common trait. Fear. That's like everybody in the world. Of accepting responsibility for something that has happened to each of you. Oh. Okay, mate. Well, uh, yeah, that's probably everybody. Yeah. You see, each of you has caused the death of another. Yet none of you has had the courage or decency to accept responsibility for that death. Oh, and you're to impose that on us. prison is where you all belong. But somehow, you have all managed to escape justice for your crimes. Huh. Justice. That is a word that is not used nearly enough in our world. But it is something that I know quite well. It's my dad. It's something that the six of you will learn before the night is over. But I'm nothing if not a decent person. So here is the situation. It is now midnight. The six of you have until 6 a.m. to find a way out of this prison. To get out, you must each come to terms with and accept responsibility for your offenses. If you manage to do this, then you will be free to go. As with all things, however, there is a catch. For every hour it takes you to complete this task, one of you will die as penance for your collective crime. Ah. It is only just. So my question to you now is, will you face your fear? You have six hours. Just, just what? Like just desserts? Just, just what? That, that was a joke, right? No, it's not scaredy pants. If it was, it wasn't funny. Yeah, no one's laughing, dumbass. I don't know about the rest of you, but I haven't killed anybody. But you're the direct cause of it with your drug-induced right. orgies and stuff. Just calm down, joke or not, we need to find a way out of here. Hey, who made you the boss? The guy's just trying to help us get out of here, man. Leave him alone. Yeah, you crazy fool. Does anyone remember how they got here? Yeah, I was drugged. Not a damn thing. Today was my day off of work. I visited my sister at the theater and headed home. Hmm. I must have fallen asleep in front of the TV or something. At least I think I did. The last thing I remember was leaving my office. I'm a businessman. What kind of businessman? Fill in the details. I remember getting to my car. That was some time ago. I left work at nine. Oh, and it's apparently dark. I was on my way home from work too at the busy mart. Around ten. Hmm. The last thing I remember was I, I was working on my computer. I'm a web designer. Oh, that explains it. Yeah, <laughs> we're all thinking it, Louie. No, don't worry, dude. I was just putting the finishing touches on a client's new website when I woke up here. Yeah, there's no such thing as a web designer. Everybody can do it themselves with all those easy-to-make websites that are out there with no no commitment and no reason to ever update or do anything ever again. You've seen those ads. Um... I'm gonna tell them everything, cause what do I have to hide? I don't care. I was already in bed. I clearly remember lying down. Someone must have taken me in my sleep. Ah, that's horrible. Lewis, would you care to share your story? Yeah, Lewis. Sorry, what I thought it was Louie. There's nothing to tell. Yeah, there is. You're hiding something. One minute, I'm in my trailer, getting ready for a night shift. The next, I'm here with all of you. Ah, uh, you're not filling all the details in. What are we waiting for? Let's make our way to the exit. Get the hell out of here. Hell yeah. It's pretty dark in here, though. And I'll bet our captor made sure that most, if not all, of the exits are sealed. Mm-hmm. Good point. Let's split up. One group should go to the basement and find some... Okay, I'm with the girl. Lights. The rest of us will try to find a way out. Okay. The five of you go do things. What makes you so or four of them. The lights will even work. Ah, yeah, come on. It's a horror movie. There must still be power going through this place, or the television and security cameras would not function. Yeah, Lewis, dummy. I'm staying with Will. Yep, see, told you. I 
think I'd rather stay here where it's safe. All right. You heard what that message said. We can't stay here. It's not safe. Who knows what's out there? Ghosts or goblins? Oh, all the things on the internet. I'll stay here with the kid. Make sure he's all right. The rest of you don't want Yeah, because he's hiding the most. Like you're doing this for the kid. You just want to save your old ass. Yep. I bet you it comes to push or shove. He's going to push or shove him into whatever's going to kill either one of them. What should I say next? Uh, I'll volunteer to help. It's fine. Jesse and I will go turn on the lights. Grayson, you and Gerard can go find a way out. Lewis and Sonny, you stay here. Meet back in 15 minutes. Nah. Sounds like a plan to me. Yippers. Very well. Meet back here in 15 minutes. But no later than that. In the meantime, if something comes up, we can all keep in touch by a walkie-talkie. I assume you all have one. How did you know that? Yeah. Jesse and I found some, yes. Okay, then. Let's go. What? Nobody else says, yeah, I got one, too. Picked up two you jerks. Buttheads. See you all soon. If you don't all get yourselves killed. Well, I bet you're gonna be the first to go. I got five points. My thoughts. Jesse and I met the other inmates. From first impressions, Grayson seems very take charge, but he acts like this is all a game. Hard to imagine someone not taking it seriously when you wake up without any clothes and no freaking memory of how you were taken. Gerard is quiet, but appears angry. Not that I can blame him. Under these circumstances, Sonny's nervous and little meek. Oh, Sonny's nervous and a little meek. And Lewis comes off like a complete butthole, conceited and patronizing. Oh, and one more thing. Apparently, they're all killers. <laughs> wow, cool. Okay, so apparently I got a lot of thoughts we're going to have to go through. Holy crap, what the hell was that about? We're all trapped here with some lunatic obsessed with justice. It's like something out of a gosh darn movie. But maybe this is exactly what, I'm, what I freaking deserve. I'm too sober for this crap. Well, it somehow worked. I got myself and Jesse free from ourselves. And I found us some clothes, but now what? I have no clue. I'm a failed artist after all. I'm not exactly breaking of ingenuity. Ingenuity. But I've done okay so far. So I guess that's something. Jessie seems sweet, but she's definitely guarded like she's holding something back. Heh. <laughs> Who the hell isn't? Though. She could just be a private person. Either way, she seems to be somewhat trustworthy. Never a bad thing to be cautious, though, just in case. A young woman called out to me from the adjacent cell. Blah, 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 blah. Horse crap. Who cares? Hmm. Cafeteria West. What the hell is on that tray? The food tray was covered in stains. The prison staff clearly didn't care about proper sanitation. Dude, it seems like this whole thing's been closed forever, so... I wondered how much all these lanterns cost. Thirty-seven ninety-nine each. Oh. The stench was unbearable. Your stench is unbearable. I'm not a kid. Oh, okay. You cute little boy. <laughs> it's alright. We'll be fine here. I'm sure you will be. Even if you aren't, I don't really care. Ah! Okay. The window. The snow's getting pretty bad out there. You're telling me. Okay, you make it seem like like big banter of like, oh look at the weather outside. You're about to die. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. To the yard. Yeah, nobody cares. We'll go over here. Okay, at the counter. I wonder what kind of food they serve at a place like this. I'm sure five star. Uh, sushi. Nothing good, I'd imagine. 
No, you're wrong, Jesse. You've never been in prison before. It's absolutely delicious. That's why everybody keeps coming back. Lots of classics, but they were all worn. No. Oh. Okay, well, as long as it's not all porn, we're good. The snow's getting... Mm. What's that? I wondered whether this old speaker was used for general announcements or to sound an alarm. Maybe, Maybe nobody cares. Okay, so there's the book cart. Another door. Yeah, no kidding. Thanks for giving me such a great description. Something on the other side blocked the door from opening. Ah! Basketball! It this looks like a ball. The ball wasn't deflated. Oh, unlike yours. Uh, okay, what's this? Under different circumstances, I might enjoy taking a few shots. You talking about their Hooper Jesse? Hmm. I never understood how prisoners could lift weights all day to pass the time. Well, dude, if you're in prison for 20 if years, me, I'd be sore within minutes. Uh, that's because you're a pansy. All right, then. Now that we've covered that, these lights were out too. Much like the ones in your head. Machinery. Air conditioning and some other machinery. Ah, I thought maybe that was the generator to make us be able to do stuff. Those security cameras were somehow still receiving power. Mm hmm. This one's light. Oh, uh, this light's out too. Alright, we'll go in here. Oh, what the hell? Okay, let's go to the lower block. Uh, guard station. Use it. I picked up the phone. No dial. Oh. I guess that was too much to hope for. Yeah, you're right, Jesse. No. Life is over. Okay, we're gonna go out to the north gate. Mrs. Grayson, Gerard and I have found the main entrance, but it's bolted shut. We'll have to find some other way out. No kidding. I think I've seen enough of the cell blocks for one. No, you're going that way right now. Oh, damn. That's the guard station. Never mind. Okay, north wing it is. This area doesn't look quite as run down as the rest of the prison. We'll keep looking around. Okay, so wherever they are is a little bit newer. And this says medical ward. This door leads to the medical ward. That's not where we want to go. Eastern hall... Nothing over there. I can only imagine what was wheeled around on this. Probably dead people. This door leads to No kidding. Ah! Alright, well oh what's that? Oh nothing. Oh radiator. Or radiator. To the touch. Too bad. I could have used some heat right about now. I'm gonna give Jesse a big old hug. I'm sure she'd like it. Criminals! Oh, just in case. What the hell? Did our captor take these pictures while we slept? I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Yeah. But at least now we know we're criminals. Um, the visitor's gate and the visiting room. Imagine a glass standing and your loved one, and this phone was your only form of communication. Well, it's better than How being sad. inside a block and having to talk through that cell phone while you, or that phone while you got people behind you yelling at you, telling you to get off the goddamn phone because you're taking too long. Way too heavy to carry around. Oh. I bet you it's snowing outside. Still snowing. Ah. Those don't look too comfortable. No, well, you're wrong. They're actually quite comfortable. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I thought I saw something else to look in. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Go over here. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Grayson and I are searching around here. 
room you're looking for is probably downstairs. How the hell do I get there? I always worry I'm going to get stuck. Yeah, well, stop being such a wuss. Oh. Oops. There was no power. Mm -hmm. So you mean I gotta walk? I actually have to go down the damn stairs? Ah, okay. The button. Just down. There was. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry, Jesse. I got you. I. Yeah. Okay. Same crap. So sitting room. Nowhere else to go. Hey, if any of you guys happen to find some food. Make sure you bring some back with you. I'm starving. <laughs> Shut up. Sofas. If only I could have afforded to sit down and rest. Dude, you just woke up. I never had the patience to read a magazine. Yeah, I bet. Probably I was looking at them. <laughs> I wasn't authorized, but that wouldn't stop me. Okay, so that's utility, lobby, darkness. It was too dark to see anything in that direction, even with the lantern. Wow, a lantern that doesn't light darkness. Those are the worst lanterns ever. If only I could... <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, we'll go here first. <laughs> Aw, I thought maybe it was going to take us somewhere different. Okay, fine, we'll go here. Dang it. To the electric girl. Pipes. They're hot to the touch. <gasps> Ooh, that means they're working. Then don't touch them. Ah, good point, Jesse. You're the smart one of the group. Okay, good to know. That's just what we need. Uh huh, it is. But what's in the boxes? Oh, nothing. <gasps> nothing underneath. Dang it. I was hoping there'd be like a, a key or. A secret entrance to Narnia or something. Oh, a sealed locker. More lockers. More lockers, but we never seen any. Read. Just like upstairs, a piece of masking tape was stuck onto the front of the locker, but this time nothing was written on it. What? A flimsy padlock sealed the locker padlock was worn. I could probably break it with something heavy. Alright, buddy. Time for you to whip it out. Where's your uh, wrench? You gotta have one or something, right? You... Oh, no. He's unemployed. Never mind. Uh, okay. The locker wouldn't open due to the combination padlock. Oh. Uh, unlock. I had no clue what the combination was, and I wasn't about to start guessing every possible value. Well, you probably should this lever must control main power. Ah, it must. So maybe we flip it. Ah, crap! Okay, turn it off, turn it off. Holy crap! <laughs> I need to get inside that fuse box. Okay, well, why don't you open it? That's locked. Ah! Pen. Okay, I take a pen. They say the pen is mightier than the sword, but in this case, I'd rather have the latter. No, we can use it. Take it with you. Oh, you jerk. Various prison documents. Okay, fine. Uh, that might come. Oh, okay. So only the tape. Crumpled paper. The crumpled. <gasps> but maybe it's like take the pen. And like scribble on the tape or the paper, and it leaves the last message that was there. Damn you! It was too dark. Ah. Uh, Good thing I don't. Yeah. Too bad. Wish I could say the same. Oh, poor Jesse can't smoke. I'm a painter, not an electrician. I had no idea what those were. What? I thought you were unemployed.
Okay, so we gotta find something heavy. The door. Look at it. I wasn't sure. Well, then open a freaking thing. Why must there be so many locked doors? My thoughts exactly. Okay, so we can't go there. Sitting area. Rug. Alright, so we go back to the sitting area. Nope. Darkness. There. So we have to go back upstairs. Because there's nowhere else to go. I should turn on the power in electrical. Okay. There was no power. No kid. I'll. Right. Okay. So what we need is apparently down here. Then don't touch them. Anything I can think of. No. That maybe I could use this as a conductor. The locker. Okay. I want you to flip it on. And I want you to grab this. There was no way I was going to touch it. I'm a pink. Huh. Oh, okay. Hang on, we got this here. Judging by the smell, I'd say it probably leads down to the sewers. No. So whatever it is we need is down here. So to save time on this, I'm going to cut right here. I'll bring you guys back for the end of the episode. And uh, hopefully I'll, ha I'll have found something. Because we can't open this until we hang on huh okay anyways give me a sec i'll be right back all right, everybody, we're back, and I just realized there is a key here. A small key. So we're going to take that. Okay. I wasn't sure how to reach it. Yeah, because you're a moron. Okay, so we can flip that off. I'm so, I guess, yeah, because the light just kind of disappears there, but uh, I don't think this will work here. So if we try that here, we look in here. Ooh, the wires were stripped. Ooh, much like me and Jesse. Uh, so we go here, there, there, and then flip that crap on, buddy. Bam. Oh, I guess. I mean, do we really have to? Can't we just kind of hang out here, you know, do stuff and things and... Ah! Uh, fine. Okay, we'll go back up and we'll watch the cutscene. Ugh. What was that? It sounded like a person. It sounded like it came from the corridor to the west. Do we go here? Uh oh. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. 
maybe we call the episode right here before this gets really weird because look at look where we're going I would imagine that only the worst of the worst would ever end up here exactly and I don't want to take you guys here ah. <laughs> I tell you I'm really liking this story it's actually pretty awesome so far let me know if you're enjoying it in the comments down below and you guys know what to do if you did enjoy it. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.